Samsung Galaxy S5 runs on the latest version of Android 4.4 KitKat with uh, Samsung's own TouchWiz overlay on top. Latest version of TouchWiz runs very well on the Samsung Galaxy S5 Mini and has a lot of the features that you'll find on the Galaxy S5 despite having the slower processor. To the left of the home screen, you'll see Samsung's My Magazine interface that gives you quick access to all sorts of news from categories that you select as well as allowing uh, social media integration so you can get all your social media updates in one area. One added benefit that the Galaxy S5 Mini and the Galaxy S5 have over most other flagship is the integrated fingerprint sensor that lets you unlock and lock your device using just your fingerprint. You can also use this integration for various online purchases also. The notification area is fully featured just like on the Galaxy S5, featuring expandable messages and the ability to clear all of them at once or with a swipe, as well as a hefty amount of notification area toggles that can be easily customizable and can be directly accessed with a two-finger swipe. The Galaxy S5 also has the integrated S Health Fitness tracking app that automatically tracks the number of steps that you take and is even more functional thanks to the integrated heart rate monitor. Otherwise, most of the uh, applications that you'll find are the same as on the uh, Galaxy S5, including the Smart Remote app, which uh, gives you a view of uh, all, the, uh, all your local programming options, as well as the ability to control TVs and set-top boxes easily. The camera interface is uh, very similar to what you'll get on the Galaxy S5, although it doesn't support as many modes as you'll see on that device. Of course, get all your options listed in a thumbnail-like view. Of course, there's a uh, selection of shooting modes. Uh, and one addition to this is that we saw is you have the option of downloading extra shooting modes directly from the camera interface through Samsung's own Samsung Apps Store. Finally, for internet browsing, you get both Google Chrome or the uh, default Android browser. Browsing is pretty fast and text appears crisp despite the smaller screen size and resolution compared to the Galaxy S5 flagship. You do get some slowdown during loading, but for the most part, performance is top-notch.